Hey guys, it's Elena. Today I wanted to do something a little bit different than what I normally do and show you a quick tip for editing a photo in Procreate. So you know how sometimes you take the most perfect photo but there is a person in the background and it kind of ruins the whole thing. Well, I just wanted to show you a quick way that you can edit that person out of the background using Procreate. So let's go ahead and get started. I will be showing you this process using this photo of my cute parents. And they sent me this photo and they asked if I could edit the person out of the background because they really liked the photo, but there's a stranger over behind my dad's shoulder and we don't know this person. And so we just wanted to sort of make it look like they were alone in the photo. So what we're gonna do, I'm just gonna show you from the beginning how I'm doing this. It's going to look like this but I'll just show you the process from the beginning. So to import a photo, go to photos and I've saved it in my recents. So here it is and I'm just importing that photo. And so this is a kind of a destructive process that I'm going to show you. So I will just duplicate that layer so that we have an extra one in case I completely mess it up. And in order to start out, we are just gonna go to Adjustments, Clone. So you see this little guy here. This is how we select where we're going to clone from. And in order to do the cloning in a, a smooth way, I'm going up to the brushes and make sure that I'm on my airbrushing. This is the, the uh, default airbrushing folder from Procreate. And I will go ahead and use the soft brush. And depending on what you're using, um, you may wanna pick a hard brush if it's something that has hard corners, but I think the soft brush is really good for most occasions where you'll be doing this sort of thing because what you'll see in a minute, but you want the edges to sort of blend in. So we've got the soft brush selected. And now we're gonna zoom really, really far in so that everything gets really blurry basically. So here's the guy that we're cropping out. And actually that is my husband right there. We're gonna crop him out too, sorry, hon. So using this one, we're going to select where we clone from. So we kind of want to make this area go over here instead of this guy. So I'm just gonna find out where the bottom of him is and then select something from this area. And then I will carefully start drawing here. I can see that's a bit too low, so there we go. And you can see that it starts to disappear, but I'm not erasing him, I'm copying what is inside of this circle. And that's why he's just sort of disappearing. And so I'm just gonna keep on doing this until we get to this point and then it gets a little bit more tricky because we've got these trees. And you can see what tends to happen if you go up here where his jacket is, for instance, I'm actually cloning his jacket now. So you just wanna be a little bit careful of that and make sure you do the, the outer bits first out here and then work your way inward. And you actually have to lift up the brush. See, I, I was still cloning his jacket because I had not lifted up the brush. So as far as this little guy knew, his jacket was still there. Then when I lift up and then I start again, the jacket is gone. So now I'm doing the same thing over here. Just getting the outer edges first and lifting up, continuing. At this point, we're kind of at a point where we need to do something a little bit differently because we're getting up into the trees. So I'm just gonna zoom even further in because the further in that you zoom, the more precise you can be with this. So I'm going to very carefully keep on going here, even make the brush really small. OK, 
Okay, now I'm just moving up to this green area and we're gonna make this part green carefully just to match the rest. And I'm lifting up quite a lot here because it, it's really close what we're doing. So I don't wanna start, I don't wanna start cloning something that I've still, I'm still in the process of, I don't wanna start cloning, um, you know, over on itself again, if that makes sense. So moving back over here, cloning a bit more. Oops, now I'm cloning his face over here. Okay, now I'm gonna zoom out a bit and move this to the fence so that we can clone the fence onto here. Make my brush a bit bigger again. Okay, so now we're gonna go and clone my husband out as well. I'm actually gonna take the tree and then just clone the tree on down. It's a bit hard to tell what is his clothing and what is my dad's clothing because they're both wearing black. I think I just erased the fence there, so I'm going to undo that and start over and keep the fence going over here. Okay, at this point, I'm not really sure how this is looking, so I'm just gonna zoom out, move that out of the way. And I feel like my dad's shoulder is quite pointy somehow, so I'm just gonna smooth it out a bit. And also I'm feeling like this could be a bit softer. So I'm just going to work on those things a little bit. Okay, that seems a bit less pointy to me. And I'm just wanting to smooth this out just a little bit. So I'm actually gonna take this down here and just add a little bit of that in here. Just for some, a bit more organic looking. I'm just gonna have a good look at this. I think that it's working. So we can see that if we look at the original, kind of have a look at how the path was looking and see if we've got basically the same pattern. And I think we do. I actually made it darker than it was in the photo, but Anyway, I just wanted to show you this little process. I hope that this is helpful for you. You can use this to edit out any, any unwanted people in the background of things or just objects. You can even use this to, if you have like a zit on your face or something like that and you want to edit that out, you can use the clone tool for that as well. So anyway, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.